is to my left, the ever-present Vela. Thanks, Yanni. The ever-present Yanni as well the last couple of weeks too. He's making yes, a comeback. I have made a significant return mm, and has. contribution to the ongoing excellence of Bob's team. <laughs> Probably without me here, this, this show would fail. So but it's finish. good to be back and I'm, mm-hmm. I'm glad the fans are enjoying it. <laughs> now, first up, we're going to talk about the weekend's results. Mm-hmm. Uh, 3-2 victory to the seniors. We won. Led 2-0. Yes, led 2-0 at half time. two goals. Considered two goals. A late dramatic winner. Cody, well done. Yes, Yanni. Typical Cobras fashion from yep. last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, scoring early, getting a nice lead, giving up some goals and then winning in the dying minutes. Yeah. So yeah. If, uh, if last year's any indication, we should be sitting on top of the table by the end of this season. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> and some good results yeah, also yeah. outside of the Cobras for us. Correct. Seated having a loss, although to it was middle. Middle Park yeah. on the weekend, but yeah. um, Middle Park not sitting on top and, you know... Closing we, the gap now, really, have closed the gap. Mm, mm. Uh, we've, we've achieved what we set out to achieve in the first couple of games Two of the games, season. Yeah. Two wins. Mm-hmm. Uh, this week's another important game and, and a, a must win That's coming right. into Seaford the following week. Totally agree. So yeah, so as you said, three two, a late uh, winner by Cody. So great goal, uh, great goal, uh, Cody. Um, we're on uh, twenty two points now. We're fourth on the ladder, and we're playing this week Old Brighton, which they're currently sixth on twenty points. Now, so we've still got that game in hand. The game in hand mm, is vital, isn't it? Well, it is, and it, and we would consider that to be a win. It's against the South Yarra, South right? Yarra. Literally on the same points with us, but yeah. we've we've got a better goal difference. We scored twenty eight, they've scored eighteen. They've conceded thirteen, though. We've conceded twenty one. Well, we are conceding mm. the regular, regular two goals a game. Yeah. And uh, I wasn't there on the weekend, but mm. um, we've got any information on how the goals were conceded? I haven't I haven't had any information, but what I can say is Yossa pissed off. <laughs> yeah. That's what I can say. Yossa <laughs> is fuming. We've also got some news on Yossa. He made a return on on Sunday to the to the third. Is that an exclusive, Yanni? That is an exclusive. Exclusive for Cobras TV thirds. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just look at the career of Steve Yosefides. Mm-hmm. Lining up on Beckham at the Maracana. Yep, at the Maracana, yep. A, a, in the thirds for the Cobras. Well, he lined up against Edmundo, one of the probably better <laughs> Brazilian players, maybe Romaria as well, Beckham, and then the Cobras <laughs> thirds. <laughs> I mean, he had hair back in those days, so <laughs> it's, not only has his hair declined, his career's declined, but yep. it's good to see him back on the track, and we're hoping that mm. he's going to be right for the big Seaford. Seaford, I'm hoping weeks. Seaford. That's what yeah. we're looking for. Ice that ankle, Yossa. So Yossa, if you can hear us, if you're watching, you should be. You're the coach. Yeah, that's right. Get your foot in some ice. Mm-hmm. Get a heat pack on it. Do whatever you got to do. That's just get right. it right for Seaford because we need your big fat ass down in the back <laughs> sweating position. Now, I can say as well, I um, have been also contacting Football Chaos, and we know who they are. They usually go around and they um, do a bit of... Um, footage and video and of, of certain games during the weekends as well. So I've sent them an email saying hopefully they can come down to the old, uh, sorry, to the, to the Seaford. exclusive here and then maybe when they say yes, let's just say there's an exclusive yep. Cobras TV exclusive, Football Chaos will be down there for the Cobras Seaford game two weeks from now. Hopefully. Bring your mums, bring your wives, mm-hmm. bring kids, bring your whole Everyone. family. Everyone. It's the biggest game of the year for us so far. I think so. And it's a must win. And it's going to be televised, televised live. Hopefully. On Football Chaos. Now, football email, chaos. email them as well. We, email get them, bombard board. them. Just everybody. Send everyone. them everything. Your workmates, it doesn't matter. Get mm-hmm. everyone to send Football Chaos and yep. get them down to that game because yep, I agree. Uh, it's where the coverage belong. Mm-hmm. That's right. Now, disappointing as well from Johnny T of the Reserves. They had a nil-nil uh, result as well. Um, they're sitting uh, third though, so... Um, they're doing pretty good. They're doing they've pretty also good. got a game in hand. And they've also got a game in hand as Unfortunately, well. Unfortunately, it's against the top team. It's against the top <laughs> team. Uh, they're playing all Brighton, obviously, with us. Uh, and they're sitting on 22 points. So hopefully for Johnny T's team as well, that they can have a win on the weekend too. Um, so let's move on to the game uh, against Old Brighton. For the seniors, um, Old Brighton, as we said, they're sitting on 20 points, only two points behind us. Yeah. So a big, vital game for us. Uh, yeah, it is. It is um, a, it's a must-win this week because yeah. we need to keep that momentum from the last two weeks. Yeah. And I don't want to see another 3-2 score. Yeah, I don't either. Um, really. you know, considering that in the last two games, mm-hmm. as well this weekend, one just been, 2-0, yeah. mm. conceded two goals. Two goals, yeah. Uh, the week before, up 3-1, mm-hmm. conceded a late goal and right. under pressure for a significant period of time in That's the second right. half. And probably lucky to take all three points in the end. Yep. I think this week, the focus has... There's no problem with us scoring goals, yep. but we've got to stop the other team getting goals. That's right. Defence is a must. Mm-hmm. So maybe there's... Uh, look, if I'm if I'm the defenders at the moment, mm-hmm. I'm looking at Yossa playing in the thirds and I'm thinking he's coming back. My mm-hmm. spot is, uh, is up in for danger. Grabs. That's right, it's up so for grabs. I'm a defender this week and 
all I want to do is stop the other team from scoring. Do whatever you have to do. You know, give away cards. Just don't yep. break a leg. Don't yep. give away a red one. That's right. Um, but do not concede a goal this weekend. And I am going to predict a 2-0 victory. Yep. I'm, gonna, I'm putting my cards on the table and I'm saying that the defence this week is going to shine. It's going to shine. Listen, I'm hoping as well, Yanni. I'm hoping we are going to win. I'm predicting probably a 2-1, though. I think we are going to concede a goal. Um, but I think we are going to win um, against Old Brighton. We had a loss there as well. Uh, the first time we played them, I think uh, I can't remember the score now. We considered a few goals too, though. So we're at home this week. Victory we are home. home. Yep. The snake pit. The snake pit. Um, it is a big game. Yep. Now let's have a look at the reserves for this weekend as mm. well. Where are the old so Brighton? So Old Brighton, and they're sitting fifth on twenty-two points, so one point okay. behind. Um, so this is it? yep. So for both it's teams, it's a six-point game, isn't it? Yep, definitely. And uh, look, I think uh, the reserves have been travelling along nicely. Mm. So. Uh, I'm expecting another good result for them if we can take yep. anything from two weeks ago, the 7-0 victory. Yep. Uh, they obviously like the home track. So, so I was going to say as well, Yanni, are we considered the senior team now? Are we considered a downhill skiing um, side? We're, we're good to go forward, but travelling back, we're uh, not getting behind the ball. It's are, are we putting it out there? Are we putting it out there? That, so. Are we being considered that type of team, which I know Yossa doesn't like? No. So the, the, the big issue now, the big point is for the defence the back three, four, and the midfielders to help each other out. Because I can tell you, when we start playing the Sandringham, the Seafords, and the Middle Parks, and even the South Yarra, if we can see two or three, we've lost those games. Yeah, we've like been you lucky. Look at, you look at Sandringham, yep. they still only can see eight. eight goals. Mm. Eight goals in 13 games. Yep. I mean, that's, that's pretty impressive. And if, yep. if we allow them to score first, mm -hmm. then I don't think there's any coming back. So. Mm. I mean, you look at the season so far, we, we seem to be able to score the early goal, yeah. but it's it's stopping the opposition from scoring. So yep. uh, I think the other teams out there will be looking mm. at our results, and if yep. they're paying any attention to when the goals are scored, yep. then they're probably thinking, you know what, it doesn't matter if they score first, because yeah. we're always going to be a chance to get back mm -hmm. in the game, and that's something that we need to change. Yep. Uh, we need to change it now. Yep. Starting, yep. This, week. Starting this week. So Clean yep. sheet, yep. Scotty. This is on you. Mm -hmm. uh, you're the man that stands in front of the goals to yep. stop the balls from going in the net. That's right. So the defenders in front of him, the midfielders, help Scotty out, mm -hmm. keep a clean sheet this week and provide us with the 2-0 victory. I'll take 6-0, as long as it's something nil. Mm. Not nil-nil, something nil. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, in the old Ryden match is really going to be a, a, a pre-game in, in regards to um, the Seaford yeah. uh, game as well, because they play very similar. They will uh, run non-stop for 90 minutes. A typical English side as well, where they're going to be in quite hard. They're going to tackle. Is they're this going to be old Brighton as in old Brighton down the road. Or old, old Brighton, no, Brighton old Bri no, old, <laughs> old Brighton down the road. Friendly, Dendy Park, <laughs> <laughs> Dendy Park, old Brighton. Um, so I reckon it's going to be, um, it's going to show us a few things of what we're really going to be expecting against Seaford. Yeah. Where as we as we know what we can expect from Seaford, which very similar to what old Brighton. Exactly. Yeah, they're, they're attacking. Yeah. They're going to be going for those 50 50s and we are going to be expecting, Corpus TV is expecting the players, the senior players, to go in for the second and the third efforts, and when we lose the ball, we get behind the ball. And it's I think simple. that's something that's been lacking uh, in mm. recent weeks. Mm. You know, we, we're getting the early goal, and then I think the players think that it's just gonna happen. Yeah. You know, uh, you see there's, there's quite a few balls where mm. the first touch the opposition ball, they're controlling the ball, and yep. then we're not pushing to make that second and third mm. effort. Yeah, so that's it, that's right. That, that's what we'll be looking for this week. So we'll Second be out there. Third efforts from the midfielders, from the defenders, mm -hmm. and a clean sheet is a must. That's it. Now, is there is there anything else that we've got on the agenda to discuss this week? Actually, there is something. Mm, what's that? Special K, Special K. Stay overseas. Stay in Bulgaria You've been now. For two weeks. Yep. We've got six points. Mm -hmm. We are climbing the ladder. The Cobras do not need you there on game day. I agree. Send us a text. Send us a photo. <laughs> send us a postcard. Just stay in Greece. I thought, it, I thought it was in Bulgaria. Well, wherever he is, Albania, Bulgaria, Greece, yeah, whatever. Bratislava. <laughs> whatever you're doing over Stay there, there, keep doing it. <laughs> the Cobras are now flying. Yep. We're two in a row. Mm -hmm. We've turned the mid-season around yep. and we are heading upwards Big and game. onwards. I agree. Right. Danny, thank you. No problem. Now, thanks for joining us and mm -hmm. uh, thanks Bella in his beautiful pink and pink mm -hmm. ensemble that he's mm -hmm. got going on. Cobras uh, TV, one HD Gmail, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm going to put it out there, Yanni, if we don't concede a goal, our uh, players, supporters, members, viewers, I want you to email us, we'll get Yanni 
to do something. We'll, we'll get him to do something on the streets. Well, we will do something. Yep. I'll Yaddy, accept done. that challenge. Okay. And that challenge is on you, Scotty. Come on. And, and the rest of the detectives. Please, Scotty, do it. <laughs> yeah. Before we go, mm. Saturday night, mm -hmm. poker night. Poker night, yes. Yeah. That's right. I don't know where it is, but I'm going to be there. I think uh, it's at the um, home ground, the change rooms there. And, and look out, boys, because Joe Hashman's my neighbour. <laughs> he's a terrible poker player, but he's giving me some excellent tips. Don't get stuck in those change rooms <laughs> with, uh, in the bathroom or anywhere with uh, Yanni. <laughs> so we look forward to seeing uh, the boys down there on Saturday night. Yep. Uh, that brings us to the end of this episode of Cobras TV, another thrilling encounter. <laughs> and we look forward to joining you again next week. Thank you, Vela. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Yanni. See ya.